All right, guys and girls, today we're going to be talking about restream pairs, and I'm going to show you how you can stream your stream to other people's channels so that you can maximize your audience. So if you check out my last restream video, we went through the restream platform and I showed you how you could live stream to multiple different platforms all at the same time. First thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done that already is download the restream software using the link below. Free to download. Don't forget if you're enjoying the content, give it a like, leave me a comment below, subscribe to the channel. So today we're going to take things one step further. I'm going to show you how you can not only just stream to all of your channels, but you can use Restream Pairs to stream to other people's channels. So you can set up a stream with another creator, preferably one that's got more subs than you. Uh, I could set one up with Peter McKinnon. I couldn't because he wouldn't be interested. But if I could... Can't. Maybe one day, if a few more of you subscribe and comment and do the whole like thing. Obviously, this works both ways. If Peter McKinnon wanted to share a live stream with me, then he could do the same. If Peter ever does watch this and he wants to do a live stream with me, I'd be well up for it. A Canadian talking with an English guy might work. So, yeah, if you're interested, Peter McKinnon drop me a message. The great thing about Restream Pairs is you don't need a password. The other person doesn't need to give you their password, no passwords involved, so everyone's account is still kept private. Makes it easy for everyone involved, no one gets tetchy about giving over their account details. It makes everything a little bit easier. So to pair your stream with another creator or person, set up and schedule your live stream as normal. You're then going to toggle the pair function on or off. Obviously, you're going to toggle it on and you're going to get given a link for your paired stream. So you can see what they've done there. You're pairing with somebody else. So once they have your link, they're going to go into their Restream account and set up the stream for the platforms that they want it to stream to. Now, here's the thing. You can pair this with up to 20 different guests. So you can send this link to 20 other guests who can all set up your live stream to go live on their channels. So you can stream to up to 100 different channels all in one go. That is crazy. Not only can you stream to all your channels at once, you can stream to other people's at the same time up to 100. So you're going to 100 times your audience and some. They're going to have an audience. 20 other people are going to have an audience. All of their channels are going to have different audiences. Your stream's going to go to, out to all those different audiences. That's huge. The potential of this is really quite something. Kind of blows your mind. So you've got the potential of showing your streams to thousands of new viewers. Millions, depending on who you are. If you are Peter McKinnon, millions. If you're me, thousands, hundreds, thousands, loads. So whoever's doing the stream, you do need to have a paid account, okay? But your guests who you send the links to don't have to have a paid account. They do need to have a Restream account. You can set up a Restream account free of charge. It's not hard or complicated as you saw in my last video. So you do need to have a Restream account, but you don't have to have a paid one. If you're receiving the link, you do have to have a paid one if you're setting up the stream that you want to pair. Here's the actual workflow. You as a creator with a paid account, set up a live stream to pair with other creators. You send that link out to other creators who you want to stream this on their accounts. They receive your link, either they've got a Restream account already or they set one up for free. They can then put that link on their Restream account and they set up that link to go live on their accounts for your stream. Now they do need to make sure that this is done before your stream goes live. It can't be done during the stream. So you need to make sure that this is done before the actual stream goes live. So give them plenty of time to set the stream up on their account. Guest doesn't need to be present when you go live. They can be doing their own thing. Peter McKinnon's probably got loads of things that he could be doing rather than watching our fictional live stream. So the guest doesn't need to be present when the stream goes live. So once you've set the stream up and gone live, all the comments on all those different channels are all gonna come in through your interface. So you can have a lot of comments to go through, but it will all be in one centralized place, which is really neat. If you're streaming with OBS, Ecamm, any of the streaming software, 
you can still use this to go live. If you go to your event card, there's three dots in the right hand corner. It will give you a key that you can add to your OBS or Ecamm and you can go live via that key. So you can still use these platforms to use Restream pairs. So, and when you set up your stream and paired it with your guests, you can see all of your accounts for the stream and all of your guest accounts for the stream in your event card. Okay, so if you want to check who's going to be tuning in, go into your event card and all the details are there. So that, in a nutshell, is Restream Pairs. As if streaming to all your platforms wasn't enough, now you can stream to 100 other platforms. So your stream's going out to 100 different audiences. That's pretty crazy for one centralized hub. Yeah, I highly recommend that you download Restream using the link below and give this a go, especially if you do a lot of live streaming. It's a really good way to grow your YouTube channel if you're quite new to YouTube. Set up these live streams and this will help you grow your following. And if you're a seasoned live streamer, then just use this to enhance your streaming workflow because you can stream to 100 channels at once. That's got to be good for any live streamer. So, hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, do please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. And please do consider subscribing to my channel. I release content like this, gear reviews, editing tutorials, so loads of useful stuff for filmmakers. And it'd be really great to have some new faces on board. I don't know why you wouldn't subscribe unless you really hated this video. And then, yeah, maybe my channel's not for you. But otherwise, you should hit that subscribe button. And make sure you download the software. But that's Restream Pairs. Catch you in the next one.